Uh, we just had this wonderful opportunity to present uh, across the uh, range of uh, budget support evaluations uh, to a larger audience um, sort of achievements. I would single out maybe two or three uh, out of the range of, of results. Uh, the one, it, it, it still proves to be a formidable instrument to drive reform. But I say deliberately drive reform and not buy reform. Uh, it's also, it shows the limitations of budget support uh, in any circumstances where you would not have sufficient uh, government commitment uh, to carry things um, through. Uh, secondly, I find it interesting that um, most of the evaluations we have presented uh, also combine uh, activities which we do jointly with member states. So you can see a clear premium of joint operations and I would hope that would, that would also feed into uh, a continuous premi premium uh, into joint programming uh, over, uh, over time. And, uh, and thirdly, there is one very encouraging cross-cutting uh, result, and this is the way we have, uh, meanwhile, as, uh, as European Commission, uh, managed to, uh, to um, uh, develop the right savoir-faire on anything to do with public financial management and good economic uh, governance. And I'm quite pr pr proud to see that I think we are uh, we're sort of cutting edge uh, as far as that is concerned. The challenges remain uh, maybe twofold. Uh, the one is, is the relative weight of our budget support contributions. They used to be quite huge in the past, uh, but now that many of the countries also have, co have gained uh, in economic uh, growth, of course have larger budgets, our contributions tend to be smaller. So the leveraging has become, even in the, in the poor African countries, uh, more difficult and certainly are much, much different in the middle-income countries we have looked at. I mean, take Morocco, for instance, or, uh, or South Africa, where the type of, of entry points are, are far different and, the, and, and where you put the leverage on, uh, on driving reform uh, has more to do with the policy dialogue, which comes uh, with it, with the technical assistance, uh, which comes with it. Um, also, meanwhile, the credibility, which comes with us uh, being known that we, we can do this properly, uh, rather than the, 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 the mere budgetary um, aspect. And that also changes the, the discourse a bit on, on the budgetary implications and the traceability of many things, uh, what we're doing. The, uh, the second challenge is more related to, uh, to ownership. And there again, I'm very thankful to the tool of evaluation. Uh, somehow it's, it's, it's something where you would say it's obvious that uh, results in in development results in reform are linked to, uh, to commitment, but to have through the, these range of evaluations a clear trace that wherever uh, you, had, you had sectors or governments who were genuinely committed uh, to make good use of that tool, uh, you had really significant uh, results. And wherever you had luggage reform, uh, hesitance, uh, changing policies, well, obviously you did not get as far um, as, uh, as one initially wanted to. We carried out uh, with all the partners uh, a very important evaluation on budget support operations in different countries. And uh, I will just uh, emphasize three main uh, uh, results that we, we got from this evaluation. The first one, as you know, there is this controversy if the funds of budget support replace the government on efforts uh, to finance their own development. And the conclusion that came from this uh, evaluation, it is very clear is not the case. Uh, budget support came, comes as an additional uh, funds to complement uh, governments uh, on efforts. And the most interesting is uh, looking at the uh, expenditure composition. It's also an important result of this evaluation. Budget support uh, uh, finance most priority expenditure in social sectors and in investment which is a, a, a very important message uh, regarding uh, the funds that are uh, uh, channeled through the budget uh, of the partner countries. The second message that came from this uh, evaluation is budget support uh, has played an important role to trigger uh, important economic uh, reforms and governance issues, particularly on the public finance management, uh, on the macroeconomic uh, reforms. So it uh, has been working uh, very well uh, to promote uh, those reforms. And finally, 
a third result uh, that is important is budget support uh, as uh, contribute to achieve uh, long-term development results, uh, particularly on the social sectors. Of course, there are areas where we need to improve. Uh, we need to improve particularly the dialogue uh, with the partner countries, dialogue amongst the different partners providing budget support. We need to improve the monitoring and evaluation framework of budget support. And maybe something that uh, is not yet completely clear and maybe we didn't achieve yet is to reduce inequalities. Uh, although there is a strong growth in those countries that we have provided by support, in inequalities, as it is the case in, uh, around the world, is still increasing and there is more need to try to explore what are the triggers and determinants for inclusive growth that we can support through budget support. And this is something that we need to reflect a little bit more.